चुका है देखा वो एस सी मास्क सिलेंडर और उसके बाद उन्होंने कुछ स्ट्रेचर प्रिपेयर की है वो संख्या लोगों को जानना होगा क्योंकि पाइप नैरो है कल मैंने एक छह मीटर की पाइप में जाने की कोशिश की थी छह मीटर का रास्ता पार करने में क्लास्टोफोबिया भी हो रहा था सांस भी रुक रही थी काफी थकावट महसूस हो रही थी और आप भी समझ सकते हैं कि तेरह दिनों में उनकी शारीरिक स्थिति कैसी होगी उनकी शारीरिक स्थिति बिल्कुल ठीक है वो तो अगर हम कहें उनसे तो चल करके आने के लिए भी तैयार होंगे बता रहे कुछ बाप से बातचीत की उन्होंने कि हम खुद खुदाई करें ऐसा कुछ नहीं है लेकिन स्ट्रेचर में जब हम उनको हार्नेस करके लाएंगे पूरा जो हमारा 60 मीटर का रास्ता होगा उसमें बिजली होगी एलईडी स्ट्रिप्स होंगी जिससे वो जला हुआ होगा जो रेस्क्यू करके ला रहा होगा उसके पास माइनर लाइट होगी तो वो लाइट दे रहा होगा और उनको ऑक्सीजन की व्यवस्था बाधित न हो इसके लिए उनके पास ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर होंगे वो सब एनडीआरएफ ड्रिल आराम से कर चुकी है बहुत बड़ी जानकारी आपने के अंदर कम से कम बिजली की व्यवस्था होगी दूसरी चीज बड़ी बात है आपके मजदूरों से बात हो रही थी वो कह रहे थे कि हम भी खुदाई करना चाहते हैं क्या उनको भी ऑपरेशन में ले रहे हैं नहीं अभी तो देखिए ऐसी जरूरत महसूस नहीं होनी चाहिए मैं आशा करता हूँ की हमारा काम ही हम कर पाएंगे क्योंकि वो वहाँ पर तेरह दिन से हैं उनसे ये उम्मीद करना कि हम उनसे मदद लें तो वो हमारा अगर जरूरत पड़ी तो लास्ट स्टेप होगा बट मैं आशा करता हूँ कि वैसे स्टेप की लेने की जरूरत पड़ेगी इस टनल में सबसे बड़ी चुनौती ये मान लें कि एक तो आर्क है मेटलिक उसको भेजने की हम तब जब मेरी विशेषज्ञों से बात हो रही थी वो कह रहे थे हमारे पास डायमंड कटर वो आर्क भेज सकता है ये हिस्सा जो अभी भी है क्या अभी भी ये परेशान कर सकता है नहीं अब मुझे नहीं लगता है जैसा हमारे को ग्राउंड पेनिट्रेशन रडार की स्टडी से मालूम हुआ है अब ऐसा कोई मेटेलिक ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन हमें बाधा करेगा ऐसा उम्मीद नहीं करते लेकिन इसमें ऐसी क्या खासियत है कि आपकी इतनी बड़ी मशीन अमेरिकन ऑगर जिसे कहा जा रहा है वो इसे काट नहीं पाई क्या क्या ऐसी वजह थी इसमें तो मामूली सरिया मतलब गैस कटर से कट सकता है मामूली सरिया छः सौ mm या आठ सौ mm की लेंथ के बाहर से फंसा हुआ है तो उसमें इतनी स्ट्रेंथ है कि वो किसी भी चीज़ को रोक सकता है क्योंकि उसके पास अपनी लंबाई के अलावा से पीछे से मलबे का और पीछे से बोल्डर्स का सपोर्ट भी है तो वो अकेला नहीं है तो क्या ऐसा ही कोई हिस्सा था जिसकी वजह से पाइप में बेंड भी आ गया हाँ हाँ उसी की वजह से ही फ्रिक्शन आया होगा अब ये एग्जैक्टली exactly कहना तो कि इस वजह से आया ये बड़ा मुश्किल है लेकिन नेचुरली ये लगता है कि फ्रिक्शन जरूर हुआ होगा और दो चीज़ों के फ्रिक्शन से ही ऐसा एक फोर्स जनरेट हुआ होगा जिससे पाइप ऑगर मशीन का इस्तेमाल सिलक्यारा सुरंग में किया गया लेकिन 48 मीटर पार होते होते मशीन ने जवाब दे दिए उसके पंखे उसके हेरो टूटकर बिखर गए तब शुरुआत हुई प्लान बी की और वो प्लान बी था जिस सुरंग में मजदूर हैं उसके ऊपर पहाड़ के सीने को चीर करके मदद पहुंचाए जाए लेकिन ये प्रक्रिया इतनी जटिल है कि ठीक पहाड़ के ऊपर जो आप मशीन दिख रहे हैं डीप सी एक्सप्लोरेशन में जिस मशीन का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है सुबह नौ बजे जिसकी चढ़ाई शुरू हुई वो बारह घंटों में आधा रास्ता भी पूरा करने में नाकामयाब रहे और उसकी वजह है मशीन की लंबाई उसका भारीपन और जिस पहाड़ को काट कर रास्ता बनाया गया है सुरंग के ठीक ऊपर वहां पर बी ने ट्रैक बनाया है सामान्य गाड़ियों के लिए लेकिन भारी भरकम हिस्सा पहुंचाने के लिए जो लंबा चौड़ा है उसके लिए फिर नाप जोक कर बी की टीम आगे रास्ता काट रही है यानी पतले रास्तों पर इतनी भारी मशीन और घुमावदार पहाड़ी पर जिसे सिर्फ अड़तालीस घंटे में तैयार किया गया इस मशीन को पहुंचाना सबसे बड़ी चुनौती दिस इज फिफ्टीन डे ऑफ द रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन राइट बिहाइंड मी इन सिल्क्यारा टनल टू सेव द लाइफ ऑफ फोर्टी वन ट्रैप्ड वर्कर्स ऑन फिफ्टींथ डे येट देर इज नो ब्रेक थ्रू मल्टीपल एजेंसी ह्यूज वर्क फोर्स कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग राउंड द क्लॉक टू इंश्योर सेफ इवैक्युएशन बट देर आर हर्डल्स एंड ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन विच इज नो एंड एट द मोमेंट नाउ द मेगा मिशन इज टू क्लियर द इवैक्युएशन पाइप विच हैज रीच नियरली फोर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन मीटर दस नियरली फोर्टी नाइन मीटर्स एंड राइट आफ्टर इंटरिंग इन द नेट ऑफ लिटरली हैवी मेटल सर्फेस नाउ द मैनुअली इट इज बींग कट आउट एंड As we hear from the sources, it will take another few hours to cut down the hero blades of the auger machine. Once it is cleared, the escape tube will be cleared manually. Auger machine will be taken a step back, and only then the manual drilling process, as it has been announced by uh, the workforce, will take place. Here. The situation that remained tense, there the rescue agency were concerned, worried. There is anxiety that is growing, but meanwhile the preparations are also underway. Once everything is cleared, then the manual drilling will take place. They will carry a, a gas cutter, plasma cutter to ensure if there are more metal debris, they'll cut it out. First, to give an understand exactly how the vertical drilling is happening, uh, consider this is the surface of the mountain, top of the tunnel. There are two boring happening, two drilling happening. One is a 200 millimeter uh, dia pipe which has been inserted, and this has crossed nearly 40-45 meters, and this is giving exactly the data of the surface. 
the data of the surface of the mountain. Subsequently, it is also giving the data of the drilling, whether there are sort of sections, whether there are waterways, whether there are uh, water sources, natural water sources, or it is a concrete structure or the metal debris. So the, this is giving data, and according to these data, the, the another drilling, the distance at a 14 meter is being used through a wider pipe. Uh, the dia of this pipe is 1.2 meter, 1.2 meter, and this will be huge enough uh, to carry out the evacuation process. Now, this pipe, as we speak, has crossed the halfway mark has gone more than 30 meters, we, what we are learning from the sources. And as it goes further down, the time limit which has been set is 100 hours, 4 days. As we speak, it's uh, exactly uh, 28 hours now as we speak. And in 24, 28 hours, we're learning the 30 meter drilling has been completed. And once it goes inside, the NDRF personnel, by putting LED light stickers, they will use the wrenching machine going inside the tunnel, in the tunnel, and then evacuate them uh, one by one, which is, of course, a time taking process, maybe a couple of hours or more for three to four hours. But this will be one of the success. From, remember, in India, after uh, the Rani Ganj, there have been only two such operations successfully where the vertical evacuation was taking place. As we speak, the horizontal drilling process is likely to begin manually by the team of experts and the vertical drilling is already underway. Uh, you know, everyone just praying for the safety of those 41 trapped worker and also the success of this rescue team are putting all their best efforts, all technologies, experts from India as well as abroad, putting, you know, every time there's a multiple meetings, considerations and then the new plans being worked out. They are working on two solid plans to make sure that the 41 stranded workers are able to come on this part of the world safe and secure. The first one is the horizontal tunnel uh, right at the Silkiara end. So a rescue tunnel which was uh, formed by the American auger machine. Uh, rat mining was supposed to be done there today. Uh, however, because of the auger machine's part being stuck in that mine, uh, rat mining technique couldn't be started quite early in the day. However, the rescue teams have been able to get rid of the part which was stuck inside the tunnel. The pipeline which was damaged has been cut out and now the rat mining technique is being used. The good news is that the rescue team is now able to push the pipe further through the machines itself. So it's a combined effort, rat miners technique to get rid of the debris inside the tunnel as well as using the machines to push the pipe further in order to create the tunnel. The second option on which the rescue teams are working right now, the authorities are working right now in Silkiara, is the vertical drilling which is being done from the top of this tunnel. And in that uh, particular method, the rescue uh, team has already succeeded to go to the length of 36 meters. They have to go till 86 meters down in order to reach the crown of the Silkiara tunnel. And after that, Different methods will be used in order to get rid of the crown structure, the rods, the iron bars which will come in, uh, in, in the path in order to reach those 41 workers. So both plants working on a uh, timeline, but the authorities are now refusing to commit on the speed as well as the deadline as to when these workers will be out because they say we don't know what kind of unpredictable challenges might come on our path. This is uh, that day, the 17th day, unfortunately, but uh, we have uh, a strong hope of a breakthrough and it's reflecting in the body language of everyone. You know, be it the uh, rescue operation officials or General VK Singh or uh, the officials deputed on the ground. And uh, uh, I'm getting you the visuals of a completely different sort. You know, for the past several days, we have been talking about uh, ground preparation for horizontal drilling, for vertical drilling, but look at the ground preparation which is being done outside Silkiara Tunnel. This is the Kacha road which is being prepared, the potholes are being fixed, the road is being broadened, white marks are being put up. Why is that being done? You know, because now the officials have a very strong feeling that they will be able to get a breakthrough and, uh, and that is why 
uh, the road is being broadened because ambulances have to be lined up. A uh, movement of 30 to 40 vehicles will happen out here. And out there, you will see NDRF uh, personnel, you know, on standby. There are stretchers out there. All that is happening. The police was briefed out here a couple of minutes back. And uh, we have also seen uh, frames like this one, the rectangular frames like this one, being taken inside uh, the tunnel in order uh, to secure uh, the exit, uh, uh, you know, exit of the rescue tunnel which has been constructed. And uh, on uh, uh, right outside the mouth of the Silkiara tunnel, these officials who are uh, uh, speaking, standing outside the tunnel, uh, we have uh, Colonel Deep, Deepak Patil, someone who has played one of the very crucial role in the entire operation out here, and he was briefing General VK Singh a couple of minutes back about the operation. You know, so these are the visuals which is also giving a sense of as to what is happening on the ground, what is happening inside the tunnel, and all this is happening again, as I said, you know, because of the rat miners. They were the ones who were sent inside when uh, the auger machine failed, when the parts of the auger machine was taken out last evening. They were the ones who were sent inside and they were very passionate about the mission which was handed over to them. The hope is quite alive and now it is also, you know, uh, boosting the morale. The moment these drillers, the rat miner drillers with the conventional equipment started drilling and there they did not found any obstruction so far. So since they did not find anything, what it gives hope, the probably next set of these debris, for example, if you see, uh, you know, this uh, alignment, this set of the tunnel, now usually inside because usually have a, a metal surface on that. This entire portion from the mountain literally collapsed inside at this scale and when the drill started, the machine started drilling, the structure actually broke down entire, uh, you know, the piece of uh, the uh, hero blades of the machine. Now since these, uh, consider uh, these workers are trapped here, the, uh, the rescue team, the miners are somewhere here, the distance what is expected to be around uh, 5 to 6 meter to make a breakthrough and entire structure is so fragile like the mud because uh, potentially if there is a heavy rock that can also be cut down with their conventional uh, machines, conventional uh, tools. So, so far what it looks like uh, that the machine, that GPR that failed to assess anything, that broke down the entire machine. But manually what they have been doing is there have been a breakthrough so far as there is no major obstructors. Subsequently, you know, digging out, clearing out the pipe, it is a long time taking process. Subsequently, the another 6 meter length of the pipe need to be inserted in and that requires a quite a push which will be done by the auger machine because the pipe is very much kept on the alignment. They'll add another 6 meter pipe right after these you know, rat miners make a space for it. Then the machine will push it forward. It is expected that since now it has already crossed the 50 2 meter of the length probably another 5 to 6 meter there could be a breakthrough and the pipe is likely to reach out to the other side to the rescuers but the adding on welding of that pipe it requires a similar strength of a pipe in fact particularly the joint welding joint so this will take a 2 to 3 hour long process along with the drilling which is already happening एसजीबीएन के जो ऑफिशियल्स हैं वो यहाँ पे और वो बड़ी खबर दे रहे हैं क्योंकि उनका काम ऊपर जो वर्टिकल ड्रिलिंग चल रही है वहाँ पे वो मुस्तैद थे और लगभग 86 मीटर्स की उनको गहराई खोदनी थी 30 नवंबर को खुशखबरी आनी थी लेकिन वो काम जिस तरह से हमने जानकारी दी वो रोका गया है अभी सर आप लोग ने वहाँ पे वर्टिकल ड्रिलिंग का काम क्यों रोका गया आ, क्योंकि अभी जैसे मल्टी फ्रंट से काम चल रहा था और जो हॉरिजॉन्टल पार्ट से रेस्क्यू के लिए एक पाइप को अंदर पुश किया जा रहा था वो एक एडवांस स्टेज में था हमारा भी एक जो ऑप्शन था सारी ऑप्शंस ओपन रखी गई थी डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के द्वारा और जो वेरियस एजेंसीज यहां पे काम कर रही है कि किसी भी तरह से मजदूरों तक पहुंचना है और सेफली उनको बाहर लेके आना है तो वो एक एज एन अल्टरनेटिव था मतलब अगर कहीं दिक्कत आती है हमें हॉरिजॉन्टल रेस्क्यू में और उसमें तो वर्टिकल ड्रिलिंग जो थी एक ऑप्शन थी The latest update coming from Silkiara Channel is that, as predicted by the IMD, you know, uh, the uh, drizzling has started in Uttarkashi at the Silkiara Channel site as well. And as we speak, the, the, this is, these are very light rains, uh, so we can hope that, you know, uh, the intensity of the rain does not increase as the day progresses. Uh, uh, however, the, the entire terrain is actually covered with clouds right now, as predicted by the IMD. So 
what we can hope and what we can pray is that it does not start raining heavily the intensity does not uh, get stronger you know because that would uh, slow down the pace of uh, the rescue operation for sure uh, you have seen the way heavy machineries are uh, being moved at the side the road was being prepared for the movement of the vehicle so all this uh, might get slightly delayed and the workers might face a bit of challenge so all what we can pray right now is that uh, the intensity of the rain does not increases that's what we can hope that's what we can pray but this was very much uh, predicted by uh, by the imd as well imd had given a forecast of 26 27 and 28th of uh, november uh, when the clouds will be hovering over uttar kashi uh, and uh, there were possibilities of rain and that's exactly what is happening on 28th of november this is exactly the perfect place we have made to get every images whatever happening at the front portal and also to other areas. So in the top angle, the images you see, all these ambulances are literally, you know, the engines have started and this is the signal and these indications that how the rescue is almost going to be completed. And we have been giving you every details that the evacuation will not be really a lengthy process. Just the SOP follow, following the standard operating procedure of India. One, I believe, one, one ambulance is coming from the front portal. We'll have to confirm whether it is carrying one of the... Uh, rescued worker there is uh, one ambulance stepping out uh, immediately that reaches to the another barricade will get a clear picture but from here i see uh, if i could see someone inside uh, but for now this is one ambulance is stepping out there are three more uh, still uh, inside there will be a green corridor made by the administration and as we speak the evacuation process has literally expedited it's going it's as fast as possible with the men uh, Dev Dood who call them NDRF and SDR.